this is how to get hired. My problem is this is how to get hired fast. Getting a job in tech right now is absolutely difficult. The fact that you're going to go and promote this video, the actual secret to get hired fast. Pooja, welcome to the show. Welcome to the fucking show. If you want to become a software engineer, all you have to do is grind 1,000 leak code problems, right? Super wrong. Ah. You hear this all the time from tech gurus. Leak code is great, but it won't differentiate you from the best engineers. But I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. Okay. What is the little secret? Also, I don't know if anyone says Leak code makes you a better engineer. Why would Leak code make you a better engineer? Leak code is just solving problems. The only way that you're going to get a job as a software engineer is if you put yourself in the shoes of others. It's really that simple. Interesting. The only way way you'll get a job is to put yourself in the shoes of others. It's that simple. Oh, it's that simple. Oh, the prophecy is true. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm going to break this process down into five simple steps that you five easy steps that you can get if you buy my course. You can use to actually become a good software engineer and then land a job in this economy. I know, right? You have just put yourself on the pedestal of hot seatness with that take. So now I have super high expectations. If this video is a dud, you will get roasted. If this video is a secret fountain of youth, you will get praised. So first thing is know your stuff. Now that might sound simple, but just wait. We've all seen the memes where people are applying for entry level positions and the employer is asking for five plus years of experience. It's funny, sad, but also what if you did have five plus years of experience? Let me explain. What? We're taught the basics of a language and maybe some data structures and algorithms. Throw an OS and data structures class in there and you've got yourself a degree. But okay. this is the bare minimum that you'll need to know in an enterprise environment. So how can you make yourself valuable as an entry level engineer? Well, you can learn some skills that an engineer with five plus years of experience already has. Let's go ahead and look at some job requirements for a senior level engineer. I don't agree with this because I don't think, let's say you even have these skill sets. You could be a wizard on CICD pipelines, whatever a senior engineer needs to know, but you still need to go through the interview process as an entry level engineer. How will this help you solve those technical screeners? You can see that they require you to have experience with public cloud services such as AWS, GCP, and even operational experience with large scale distributed systems and even experience with Docker. If you're a junior engineer, you get the pass, okay? But if you're like a mid-level or senior very surprising if you've never heard of these technologies here and i don't really believe doing like side projects with these or even getting a certificate will necessarily get you in a more elevated state see how different the requirements are they're looking for a degree or minimal experience but okay. if you want to scroll down to the nice to haves see how similar these are to the senior engineering role well that's because in a bearish market you want to treat the nice to haves like requirements you want to stand out from all the other entry-level software engineers by telling employers that you have the skills and more than what they're looking for. Let's say you tell your interviewer, hey, I know GCP, I know Docker. And they're like, okay, what have you built using them? What are you gonna say? I actually think the issue is people are having a difficult time getting callbacks and passing the leak code technical screener. With a manager at Microsoft to get his input on what makes someone hireable. We are looking for growth mindset. We are looking for demonstrations of Microsoft value customer obsessed, heavy collaboration with other people. And we will ask you whether you realize it or not, when we're asking you in a sort of, hey, uh, tell me about a time when you had a project that was that went off track and, okay. and what happened. So how do you do this exactly? Experience. Your video is how to get hired fast and you're telling people get experience to answer these behavioral questions. I don't see how your previous point about Docker, GCP, Azure has anything to do with what that individual just said. One way to do that is through internships and yes, even unpaid internships as unfair as those are. My problem is that doing an internship is, very, is for select people. I don't think that people who are struggling to find jobs are the ones trying to find an internship. I think the people that are struggling to find jobs are the ones who are past the opportunity of getting into trying to find their full-time job after university. I'm still having a hard time relating the points that she is putting on how to get hired 
hired fast in enterprise environment. But honestly, it still doesn't showcase that you have senior level skills as an entry level software engineer. You need to gain those skills in other ways. And because you're not going to have them, even if you think you could write your way through it, convince yourself that you do, you don't. Becoming a senior isn't as simple as learning GCP for two weeks or dockerizing something. That is not what a senior programmer, senior engineer does. They want an entry level engineer that already knows about the cloud, how to use container management systems and can hit the ground running. Just categorize your learning by topic and give yourself a couple months to do a few crash courses. Take a course on AWS or Azure, no, take a course on Docker, get a certificate no, in AI and no, try to find information about systems. Don't do this. Actually, don't buy fucking courses use the technology. If you want to learn Docker, you know what you do? You spin up a project and you use Docker and you figure it out. You ask ChatGPT, how do I Dockerize my project? Don't take a course where someone's just going to watch a video and you're just going to be like, oh, cool, I can copy and paste this. Next, you need to build real projects that implement what you learned. Find someone in your life that you can solve a problem for. Then meet with them regularly to iterate and modify requirements as needed. Create a simple API that's hosted on the cloud. Take the time to actually spin up a Docker container and run the app using Docker. It really goes a long way if you learn the... If if you think this is the Docker skills those senior engineers are looking for, you're a mod. If you think spinning up a JavaScript API and then just putting that in a Docker and mapping port 5000 to port 8000 and curling it is like Dockerizing application, please, please, please understand that this is not the level at which these employers are looking for Docker skills. How do you demonstrate those skills to an employer? You need to create a portfolio. Here's an example of a portfolio that I recently created on Hostinger to showcase my experience at Target and Microsoft. But the basic idea is to, again, put yourself in the shoes of the employer. What are they looking for? They're looking for experience or projects that show that you have those nice to haves. Hostinger is great for that because they focus on helping you create a website from this start to finish. This it was so easy ad. to set up my portfolio and there for was sure. no coding required. You can use custom website builder which this has designer made yep, templates an easy drag and drop editor as well as an ai toolkit to help you create coming. logos or it, format yeah. your every sentences. video okay so i'm just typing in my name set up yep. this portfolio yep. it asks for a description as well so just describe your website based on what you think it'll be about in this case it'll mm -hmm. be a portfolio and actually it'll design your template according to the description that you have imagine telling a junior engineer to create a website for you using ai instead of them actually building the website and learning the technology behind it when she made the claim that you can get a job fast and efficiently in this market that i was going to put this on a high level of expectations. So tell me, how is it that you're going to cater to junior engineers to build a website using AI instead of spitting something up with Vite and modifying it. But that's not all. Networking and a little bit of marketing. We hear this all the time, but sometimes it's hard to understand just how important this really is. This is the power of great marketing. You want to treat yourself like this pen. Create a need for yourself. And if that means gaining skills that no one else has, then do that. First, you need to- I'm just not even going to comment on that. I don't know how that relates to anything. And I'm not even trying to be mean. I, I genuinely don't understand what I was supposed to gain from that. But that's not all. You need to put yourself out there. People won't know about you or your skills unless you reach out to people and let it be known. But here comes the hard part. You need to make yourself so attractive as an employee to employers that they'll end up wanting you even though they didn't know they wanted you. Catch my drift? You're going to need to- Some teams just don't have headcount. Some teams literally can't hire people people because of the tech layoffs earlier this year and the competitive nature of everything that's happening. It's not just like, oh, I really like this person. We should just hire them. But that's not all. Which, by the way, if you want to check out how to craft the perfect message to LinkedIn recruiters so they'll actually message you back, check out my template on our Discord server. We have detailed information about how to get the attention of both recruiters and hiring managers. But the biggest thing is to have a high quality presence. And again, that's where your portfolio comes into play. You want to make sure that the skills you've learned as an entry-level engineer are so far beyond any other entry-level engineer that they'd be stupid to say no to you. You four, beat it. Decision has been filled. Now, you might ask, what about the interview process? Of course, mm -hmm. you're definitely going to need to prep for the interview yeah. process once you get an interview. I actually have a link to a great resource for DSA in the description below. As for learning a language, if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend checking my Kotlin for Beginners course. Done, 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 fucking done. All right. Back to back to back ads. Not one thing will actually get you hired in this economy. In this economy, in this market, you need to do lead code. And let me explain why you need to do lead code. You're going to potentially get an offer for a screen screener after you, you know, sway the recruiter. And then in the technical screener, the engineer is going to not give a fuck about anything that you previously learned and going to ask you to solve this lead code medium or hard problem because that is where the challenge is right now. And you know what you're going to do? You're going to be like, well, actually, I know Docker and AWS. And the engineer is going to look at you and be like, I don't give a shit. Go solve this. I have three more interviews to do today. And I'm going to pick the one that communicates it the best, that solves it and optimizes it. So get going. You have 40 minutes remaining. So don't do this learn to network and grind on it. I'm not a fan of this video at all, at all. I think you're giving false hope to a lot of people who are in very vulnerable positions. And I think you've basically nuked this with five different ads of either content that you 
are creating via your Kotlin course, this is not cool. And I'm going to call this out every time I see it. And you know why? Because welcome to the fucking show. <laughs>